The Chinese model is certainly a very attractive model for quite a number of countries. Led by one of the most powerful people on the planet, our leaders are discreetly transitioning us to another political system called stakeholder capitalism. It's the funeral of shareholder capitalism and it's the birth of stakeholder capitalism. You have shown us the way forward. I'm a former TV producer and now the CEO of a tech startup who's rejected stakeholder capitalism after discovering what it is. Like the Chinese state capitalism system, stakeholder capitalism places restrictions on the way we run our companies by forcing us to put the interests of a group of stakeholders first. Soon, however, stakeholder capitalism will be mandatory for everyone. We're announcing the UK's intention to mandate climate disclosures across the economy. In this series, I discover how the stakeholders are propagating the transition. It's a race against time to keep stakeholder capitalism on track. By manipulating us to believe shareholder capitalism is making many of us oppressed. Trans rights are human rights. <laughs> and fear climate change as an existential threat. Sure, stop, oil! People are dying. Families are fleeing their homes. After indoctrinating us to want another system, I learn how the stakeholders are propagating stakeholder capitalism as being better for people and planet. This is the best time for leaders to come together, for the world to become more inclusive more sustainable. And how this strategy was successful for shifting China to communism. What's going on in our school and in our country is really a replay of the Cultural Revolution in China. The similarities are terrifying. In this series, we will end up with many more unemployed. I expose the stakeholders' plan to accelerate the speed in which AI takes our jobs about 50% of people in the world will be affected. Leaving us dependent on them and vulnerable to tyranny. A new useless class. People who are useless of the economic and political system. And unless we act now, I learn how oppressed we become under stakeholder capitalism. This means turfing people off their farms. CBDCs would give officials a powerful tool of control and manipulation. Banks can now freeze their personal accounts. This technology can turn our communities literally into digital concentration camps. Some people are yelling out, we're starving. Join me as I investigate the Great Reset transition to stakeholder capitalism.